Hi team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 100 on the FTC Elementary K-6 through Practice Test. This is a great problem if you're a teacher who needs a review of uh, data analysis. Um, this will help you on your teacher certification exam regardless if you're in Florida. You could be a teacher in Massachusetts or in California or Texas. The, the core concepts here in data analysis are going to help you on your exam as well. Alright, so let's take a look at number uh, 100. Mr. Ramirez teaches third grade. His students average for the last year are plotted on the following graph. Which conclusions can be drawn from the data? Now, let's just talk about some of the uh, key words here. We have data, conclusions, students averages all right here we are having um, this is this involves data analysis the data has been presented on a line plot this is our this is our type of graph it's called a, a line plot and what it does is it indicates um, every quarter it gives values and you see the change connected by a line now what's nice about data analysis is that you know it's it's partly you know um, it's a little bit of number sense and operations because we're dealing with averages and averages you're adding things and dividing things thinking thinking about values it's a little bit of um, algebra because here we have the information represented essentially on a graph and we could if we wanted to we could we could create input and output charts for math history and science and so forth um, and it's also the data analysis por portion, which is looking at all these pieces of information and drawing meaning, drawing conclusions. So that's where we get, that's why this specific section is on data analysis, because you'll be looking at the information, not just getting an answer, but as you look at all the data points, trying to draw some conclusions on what the data means. So let's just look at the data first. First, I'm going to, first, one of the first things I'm going to do is make sure I understand the graph. So here, there's math. These are my math scores. And this one right here with the square, this is my science. And this one here is my history. Okay, so I've identified the lines for each of these. It looks like, it looks like math doesn't have such a great year, right? Math actually goes down. It's a down. It's downhill for math. We start at 90, and we end up around 70. So math, math, we're going downhill. All right, definitely, definitely, there's a a, de a decrease in performance in math. So just by looking at um, the scores, math goes down. Okay, let's uh, examine history, uh, science for a moment. Science starts off at 70, goes up, up, up. How much does it go up? It definitely has a great year. Looks like it goes up from 70 to 80. Really, very strong, uh, uh, very strong results. Um, what does that mean? Well, it means it, that science went up about plus 10. So science goes up, and they go up plus 10. Now, last one is history. Now, uh, you have to really carefully read this over. History starts at 60, goes up, then down, then up again, and it actually ends up around 85. So even though it didn't score as high as science, they went from a 60, I'm sorry, to a 75. It's not as high a score, but it's up 15. So if we're looking at the history scores, you know, the teacher brought them up 15 points. So history technically had the most improvement. It's not the highest score, yearly average score, but it's definitely the most improvement. All right, so what I've done is I've read the question, I've made sure that I understand um, which, what, what, how, how to read the graph, and then I've analyzed the data points that are on the graph, understanding that the math is going down, the science is going up by 10 points, the history is going up by 10 points. Now let's match, um, let's match up a conclusion based on a correct conclusion based on uh, what we observed. So here it goes, uh, is this true? But based on what we observed, as the year progressed, the math skills of students improved. And you're thinking to yourself, I forget what he had on the page there. 
Remember the math went down? Okay, so we could cross that one off. B, as the year progressed, science skills decreased. Well, science was one of the ones that went up by 10, so we crossed that off. C, the lowest scores for each subject occurred at the second qu um, quarter scores. All right, so maybe you don't remember that one. Well, if we go back here, definitely in the second quarter, which is this one here, math scores went down, but science and history both went up. So that one's not true based on uh, the graph. And then finally, the greatest gains from first quarter to fourth quarter were made in history. Now this one is the correct answer. So D is the correct answer. And the only way you could get D, because it's very, very easy to see, think that the science is the highest, so the science had the greatest gains, is that you make sure that you read D very closely. It starts at 60, it goes up to 75. That one actually has the most amount of gains in history. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful and a good introduction to data analysis. Uh, definitely um, send in your questions. If you need some help, you can contact GoMath um, or sign up for a, a math workshop in your state. Okay? Thanks so much for watching, team. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.